everyone. This is Brittany Bond, and welcome back to the podcast. Today, I am very excited to yeah, chill with my good friend, Carl. Carl, what's your last name? It's not Lit. Zalomo. It's Zalomo. It, what's Lit, Lit Nomo, your what? DJ name? I thought that was your last name. Lomo, it's like the end of my last name. Like, ah. it's Zalomo, and I just... Does Zalomo mean something in English? I don't think it means something. In, it's like a name. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's, um, I think it's the name of the... Um, of a Jewish uh, king or something. A what king? G- like an- ancient um, G- Jewish? Is it Jewish? Like <laughs> what are you saying? I have no idea. <laughs> like Judas? like in the Bible, like in the Bible oh, and stuff. It's, it's like yeah. Jewish. Jewish, yeah, Jewish. Jewish. Okay. Yeah. Um. Um. So Carl and I are sitting in our little house in Austria. We all hosted a retreat together last week. Verde, Carl, and Eve and I. And we stayed a little bit longer, so Faraday and Carl and I decided to get a smaller place than a 15 bed. What do you guys call it? Hut? Hut. A hut. It's so <laughs> funny because in America, a hut is like, I don't know, like a teepee. Like it's not yeah, like yeah, a in house. In, in, in um, German, it's Hütte. And Hütte actually also means something like teepee. Mm-hmm. But, but in the general, but somehow it you use Hütte, like hut. In German as well for like, like houses in the mountains. I don't know why, but because <laughs> I but thought if a houses house in the mountains were chalets. Yeah, but no, but it's so it's so weird because it, it's a house, it's a normal house, but as soon as it's in the mountain, it's a hut. <laughs> like like <laughs> like German German somehow is really weird, you know. <laughs> like as soon as it, it, as it looks like a bit wooden and stuff, you know, and <laughs> it's, it's straight a hut. <laughs> um. So, Carl. I just want to vibe with you today. If anyone is listening, mm-hmm. you are just going to chill with us while we drink some tea and we look at the mountains and we just vibe. Yeah, this view this is view so This view is so amazing. Um. So Carl and I met last fall at the Open Flow State Retreat. Last summer fall, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that Faraday was hosting. August. Um, and I feel like I really saw you for the first time when... We did like eye gazing. <laughs> yeah, we did like really weird eye gazing. Like, <laughs> like super like, intense. I, I, I don't know. I think you guided this workshop. I did a connection games workshop. And then what's the guy's name? Maggi? Maggi? I had um, him DJ. We did a Maché. Stag- Maché. Maché. We did stag dance. Yeah. We did like a little dance just in, in, in the living room. Inside and da, 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 and everybody was vibing. And at some point, everybody was cuddling on the floor. And. Um, everybody was just laying there and whatever, and like we just <laughs> stared like through the whole room at each other like for fifteen minutes or something. And yeah, it but was you really just wouldn't intense. let my eyes go, and then I was like, "Wow, I feel so seen right now." Mm-hmm. And then I felt like a lot of emotional release, like I was mm-hmm. just crying. I remember like. I think I was laying on someone's chest, looking at you sideways, <laughs> <laughs> like eye gazing, mm-hmm. and then I started crying. And then everyone was like, "Is she okay?" And like <laughs> people were like putting their hands on me, like mm-hmm. trying to comfort me. But I wasn't. I felt like I wasn't in need of comfort. I was mm-hmm. just, I was just processing. Yeah, and I think it's a big thing to have the feeling of being seen, you know, mm-hmm. because I actually like to do that. Um, in general, and it you're really good at it, and uh, almost never happens that someone like stares at me for so long because a lot of people are really um, it's difficult for them to handle to be seen in this moment, you know. And I'm just I'm here, I see you, and you can show yourself to me, or you can't. I find that so fascinating because everyone wants to be seen, mm-hmm. but then you're saying that they have a hard time actually holding. Yeah, anything. I think so, because everybody wants to be seen in the end, but. It's really difficult to handle it for many people, I think, to be actually seen, you know? Why do you think that is? Because I think it's it's a lack, lack of self-worth. Like they're and worried if someone sees them, they'll find that they're not worthy yeah, of Yeah, exactly, love. because they see them, like really see them. And a lot of people are wearing like mask or like having construct. Oh, that's me. And... Oh, that's me, and yeah, um, I'm this, and like, oh, but when you go in the inside, there's someone completely else, and actually, this one inside is the much, <laughs> much more b- beautiful part, but um, many people are afraid to show it to the world. <coughs> so, when you saw me, what did you see? Did I mean, do you remember? 
I mean, what did I see? Um, it's so difficult to like yeah, I guess to say, you know what I mean? Like in a way, when you do eye gazing, you will exper have experienced it mm -hmm. often. You see a person, but what do you do? You see, like you see the person, like I saw you, you know? Mm -hmm. But but what is you? I don't see so what, what's your interest or hobbies, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Me in the future. But, but I just, <laughs> just this, I'm seeing you, I recognize you. Uh, um, I see that you're there and I honor what you're doing, what were you do what were mm -hmm. you were doing on this day and I honor your situation from you were there, you were like the only one who was like not natively speaking German, da -da -da, like those things like in the situation I saw you, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really beautiful. And then I remember I like got some water, someone brought me water and I blew my <laughs> nose and I was like, okay, I'm good. And then we did it again. And, we, <laughs> and you were just like, wouldn't let my eyes go. And I was like, wow, this is super intense. But then from that moment on, I knew we were going to be friends. Mm -hmm. That's what the, yeah. And then you also li like when I when I look back at this moment, it actually did a lot to, to my last year. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> what do you No, I don't know what you mean. Yeah. What do you tell me? What does um, that mean? I mean, it did a lot, lot to my last year because, like, you know, when I arrived on Koh uh, it was at Euros, da, 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 da. it was like a whole thing hanging on, like, this moment in the end, you know? Because if we connected yeah, in that if, moment. Yeah, exactly. If we wouldn't have connected on the retreat, I think my whole year would have been <laughs> completely different. Yeah, you got into you my know? vortex. <laughs> I got into your vortex, yeah. Because then the next day, I felt really called to take acid with you and Eve. Mm -hmm. And then we just had the most amazing time. This was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Do you> wa <laughs> Wait, <laughs> tell them about the meditation. Yeah, we can tell about the meditation. If we can even put there it there into was, words. There were so many things happening on this day, but, <laughs> but also the meditation, yeah. Yeah, like this day was really like, it was so intense. I had never, I mean, every trip is like really intense and different and da da da. But I've never had like one day that was like so many days, you know, like there yeah. was so much in this day. We went through other dimensions yeah yeah exactly and this meditation was definitely a peak of this yeah it was like it was crazy <laughs> i don't know i don't know, <laughs> I don't know. It okay was like i'll loop. just describe yeah, yeah. the the situation and you can describe how you felt mm -hmm. so i just remember i think i took like I don't think I took as much as you guys. I think I only took like 70 or 100 cc's. I think mm -hmm. you guys took like 150 or something, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Or even more. I don't know. Um, 180 or something. There's a past timeline. We were taking lots of acid. And I don't yeah. do that as much anymore. Um, but, but but I also had yeah. like a bit of... Um, well, I took the week before acid already. Mm -hmm. So I had like a bit of what, what is it called? tolerance. Tolerance, yeah, tolerance. So, so it was. You took a like little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't. <laughs> I mean, I do. Uh, on COVID, uh, on lockdown on the island during COVID, I took a lot of acid. Um, responsibly. <laughs> to anyone <laughs> who's listening, very responsible. <laughs> I did. Like, yeah, sure. You know, like, I, I was using it for personal growth mm -hmm. and playing and having mm -hmm. been a little kid, you know? Um, but I hadn't, I don't remember I'd taken any in a while before, so my tolerance was very low. And it was the first time I'd taken acid that wasn't on an island. Because I'd only ever taken acid, the first time I ever took acid was on Koh Lanta, which is an island in Thailand, and then I only, and then I took it on Koh Banyang. I'd never taken what it anywhere what else. What were your first uh, acid experience? When did you have them? I was seeing a guy in Chiang Mai and he went down to stay on Koh Lanta like during burning season that, that mm -hmm. we have in the north of Thailand and I went to visit him for like a week and then I was moving to Malaysia to mm -hmm. it's a whole other timeline but this is when I still like was very in my mental physical mind and I went down there and he's like so I have these tabs of acid he did he did a lot of acid he was like nine years older than me and I was like I've never taken acid before I'm scared uh, I've only ever taken mushrooms mm -hmm. like once before. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I'll take half of it, like half a tab. So probably like 70 cc or whatever. I don't know. I think it was like they were 150 each or something. And then I put it under my tongue and then he said something funny and I laughed and I <laughs> swallowed it and I was like, oh no, it's not going to work. <laughs> and he's like, I think he knew. He was just like, <laughs> he wanted to have a full day of yeah. tripping with me. And so he was like, do you want to take the other half? And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And then I did. And it was like the most amazing day ever. I just remember right when it started hitting, it was full sunny and hot down there. And then it started pouring. It was the only time out of the week that it was raining. And everyone ran out of the water and we ran into the water. And we were just dancing and laughing. And then he held me in the water like floating 
And now that I've done like Watsu, like the water therapy stuff on the island, I understand this is what he was doing. This is like f- holding me, floating. And I went into template reality. Like I went into straight source. Everything was white. And I saw like, I like understood my family dynamics for the first time. And I like understood that my parents did the best they could. I could like feel like these generations of sadness, like going through mm-hmm. my DNA. Like there were so many things happening. Mm-hmm. Like that was a day that was like t- a thousand days in one day. And like so many adventures that we, we ran around the whole island. And I remember at one point we were so hungry and he was like, I cannot human. And we were like <laughs> sitting like down below. There was like this restaurant on the beach and we were like sitting by the water, like down below, just looking at the people <laughs> like, do you think that we can pretend that we're human <laughs> enough to go get food? Yeah, yeah. And he was like, I cannot, I cannot. And I was like, I can do it. And so like I walked up and I was like, we want a table. And it wasn't like a nice restaurant, but people were looking at us funny. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. what is going on? Yeah. And so I ordered us food. I went and got him and I was like, come and sit down. And we like came and sat down, but just being near other people's energy where they were, you could tell they were on a very different vibration. Mm-hmm. It was a whole thing. So that was my first acid trip. It was really fun. And then I didn't do acid for like another couple of year, maybe two years. And then lockdown happened on the island and I did acid a lot. But anyways, back to our story about the mm-hmm. us meditating. So it's you, Eve and I. And I just remember, I don't even know what we were. We were like, bo- so everyone else was taking acid the next day, yeah. but Eve was leaving. And yeah. so I woke up in that morning and I had just connected with you the day before. And so I was like, I want to take acid when you guys are taking mm-hmm. acid. Like I really liked Eve's energy and I loved your energy. And I just met you guys like mm-hmm. a couple days yeah. before, but my whole intuition was like, take acid today. Yeah. I'm so gla- grateful that I did. And then it started to hit me really hard. And we were sitting inside in the kitchen in Faraday's mom's house here in Austria and like everyone went to go play spike ball and like or I have like no idea actually how it started. I just remember I it was hitting me so hard and I was like I think I just came in and you guys were already sitting on the couch uh, and I no, sat in no. front of you, right? I know how it started like I, I knew the coming up of it. But I don't know how <laughs> how it went on from this. We it's it's always like <laughs> yeah, it's always like this <laughs> where where it yeah uh, uh, but but yeah, I think oh, no no no. We me and Eve we 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 started in this in this room with this TV and stuff. Okay. And I remember us playing chess with Julian. Okay. And then we were outside, I think, for a short thing. And then, out of the sudden, you came and we were like, <laughs> "I have to show you something. <laughs> <laughs> we have to meditate now." <laughs> Because basically, I was going into different yeah, dimensions. Yeah, it, me too. It uh, was. <laughs> it was like. It was like. It was like one of the craziest experiences <laughs> I had, because I also felt like I felt so connected to you, but like. We were, we were just meditating in between, you know, it was like... <laughs> we were like, h- like, you guys were sitting behind me on the couch, I was sitting in front of you, and we were all holding hands, mm-hmm. and I felt the energy going in between mm-hmm. all of us, mm-hmm. and I felt us, like, falling into other dimensions. Yeah, and I literally, like, when I, I mean, we meditated, and uh, you, it was like going through this flow of consciousness, of mm-hmm. whatever, and, like, here and there, I really, like, saw your signature, you know, or Eve's, or you know our energy like signature yeah exactly Interesting. Like this, and it's, it was like flowing around it was um whatever this is what is this in, 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 in water. spiraling what spiraling Sp- no not spiraling like in mean? water when it's like <laughs> <laughs> flowing when, i think flowing. Yeah, yeah but like when it's just the circles in water you know like in germany Spinning? it's wor- wor- verbal <laughs> it's, it's <a> verbal <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> like verbal is something like like re- out of control like like fluidly like spinning around and da, 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 like but with that high energy so that's what you saw our energy that's signature what I felt, like saw like whatever and uh, no i was in this like really strong flow of consciousness of everything of whatever it was you know mm-hmm. and i always like there was this blink of your signature of eve signature and it was always was coming back and da, da, da. Mm. like we were in a big river and we were flowing in there and then like all of a sudden you came out of the water and you know like <laughs> da, 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 and I, I, you know what i mean okay yeah i'm getting the picture now and i remember we had meditation music going and that was super intense whatever because he was like i've been listening to this recently it's really nice <laughs> and i was like whoa yeah this was really strong and then i remember opening my eyes and like seeing the the color auras of like coming off the kitchen table and the chairs and like <laughs> Jenny was just sitting across from us and she was like eating something like are you guys okay and we're like whoa yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I just remember thinking 
okay, I'm feeling a little ungrounded. I need to get Faraday. He's not on drugs today. <laughs> so <laughs> He's not on drugs. <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah. And then I remember having him come and then we all like went into the movie room together and then he started mm-hmm. getting pulled into it because he's a reflector. So I felt mm-hmm. like he could feel all of our energy. Yeah. And this was interesting because at this time then Julian left as well. Mm-hmm. And it was really like the four of us mm-hmm. in this room. And it was like just interesting to look back from now, you know. I, f- I don't know how much I've told you this, but I told mm-hmm. Faraday this that I saw like portals into the future of like possible timelines of us like and i i started crying because i saw faraday and i being together Mm -hmm. and us being in austria and like hosting people Mm -hmm. in austria and at the time it was like us in his mom's house like it it felt like it was christmas time it was like winter and we were there and there was like kids running around and we were all just so happy and you and eve were there Mm -hmm. and i was like wow it's so beautiful like do you see it and he was like still in the mode where he wasn't even like looking me in the (laughs) eye (laughs) fair day like that's uh yeah that's a big whole other drama story yeah (laughs) yeah but but, um and now i feel like some of it has come true you Mm -hmm. know and then it feels like full circle that all four of us were here in austria hosting Mm -hmm. a retreat together last week yeah that was pretty amazing yeah, this whole day was actually. Uh, yeah, there was like, so much more to the story. There was so much more on this day. It was like it was crazy. And then uh, I just love that anytime you and I are on psychedelics together, it's like we hit the same moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we like literally had the same frame, like the same <laughs> frame in between, <laughs> like like literally the same frame, not not like a similar like the same frame. <laughs> <laughs> like, like just sk- skipping back to this moment. Just skipping back to the yeah, just skipping back to this moment, and like no, and now we are in our timeline again. But I always like come back to this moment. Yeah, that was really funny. Of course, again when we were in Kop- <laughs> Kopenhagen, and and now again, like it's, it's well, it was like exactly like the same view of Britney, like how she's <laughs> laughing, like this, like this acid smile, <laughs> you know, just different background, like this Photoshop. <laughs> Put us in the jungle, put us in the mm-hmm. forest. It's all the same vibration. Yeah, yeah it's all the same. <laughs> uh, I love that we always have so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> and like yeah. when no one else understands each us, we understand each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's, there's that's so like many moments. Like even in small things. Yeah. By the way. <laughs> yeah, like it's like, no, <laughs> I have your back, Carl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we, uh, I think we like work in in a way like really similar. Like, mm-hmm. like in a way how we process or mm-hmm. think like, yeah. Something I think is fun to talk about is, um, I mean, Carl, you're 21, man. Mm-hmm. No, you're 20. <laughs> 20. You're 20. <laughs> but you're so fucking Damn. woke, Carl. Mm-hmm. Like, how is it to be so awake so young? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I guess you don't really have life. any other perspective. It's not like you can pop in from I mean, a different timeline where you weren't so awake at 20. I mean, uh, I mean, I have like... A couple of years ago, I was somewhere completely else, you know, but I won't. Trendy. Even last year, like I see photos yeah, of you at year, the full course, state. But it was like really like this. Mm, this was actually also the point where I was like, okay, I will get everything and I'm woke and blah, 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 blah. But this was the point, this retreat was the point where I was like, okay, now I don't need to hold back anymore, you know, like this. Why I, were you I holding see, back? Before? I see, I see, I have people around me now that are working, uh, that are thinking like I'm thinking, I'm not alone in this. And before I was like, okay, I'm, I'm lonely here. I mean, uh, for example, in Dresden, in my hometown, there were like also like meetup, meetup things like uh, that. Ferdi does and things. Is Dresden pretty small? No, it's not too small. If people don't know, it's somewhere in Germany. It's somewhere. So it's like half a million um, okay. citizens or something. But they had a meetup. Like, yeah, yeah. We, we we had actually, but it was still like this. Everybody's talking about veganism and the veganism. Da, 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 like we all like, da, 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 you know. But it wasn't like this. I haven't had people like that are uh, like really understanding how I'm thinking. Like okay, I d- like having this. Mm, like being so wait i actually always forget the german word for it so <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so i don't even know what, what to translate you it happens often to me that i forget like this pers- specific word it's um but it's just basically being understood like yeah, where you're being, at like yeah, seen exactly. and understood. Being understood it's like yeah it's actually yeah what i want to say is just a specific character trade i have but in the end it's 
it's about being understood and being not alone thing and then I was like okay there are these people like uh, I'm not alone now I don't really don't need to hold back and from there I'm like um, yeah whatever and before I was always like I get it everything uh, already like okay I do like my smallest changes in my life but I'm still like oh and I will probably will g- go to university and da 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 um, oh yeah when I met you you wanted to, what were you saying you wanted to do um, actually before the retreat I uh, uh, planned to I mean I planned to do last something. year before yeah. the retreat yeah uh, I planned to study physics because that's actually th- something I can really good I'm really good at maths and physics uh-huh. um, and I think that's also part why I'm where I'm at you know like mm-hmm. understanding things breaking things down to the source where it's coming from how it works not seeing like a formula and just being oh, okay I use it now now why does the formula work how how to apply it mm-hmm. and not w- a plus b uh, to uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, you know. But what I mean. so now that you've entered Ferdinand's vortex, now I'm in your web vortex, <laughs> and now I'm like, <laughs> what do you do now, Carl? You're not going to school um, for physics. No, I'm not going to school. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually, right now, uh, <laughs> he's a rapper. Very loosely, I do a lot of. Uh, he's music. a rapper. I'm doing a lot of mu- music l- right now, or I'm making retreats with you, or like mm-hmm. whatever I'm doing, you know. But it's rare. But your passion is you. Passionate, my you like my not just a rap. You're actually main, producing music. Yeah, my like main, my main passion is music right now. It's so like creating like songs, writing songs, producing writing, songs, producing, performing, like everything. Wait, <laughs> everything I haven't seen it. you perform a song. I mean, yeah. I mean, I haven't like live performed, but I perform in front of a mic. <laughs> and right now I don't. Right now I don't have the audience to perform my songs. You know, I, we can I mean, we can make up one pretty fast. Yeah, we can make up one. I mean, it's anyway always like yeah. How, so yeah. you're 20. How do I'm you 20. view the world? <laughs> I know this sounds really vague, but like yeah, but, but it's like really like, vague. That's really okay. Really okay, vague. I'll like, get more specific. Like where to start? Like. Okay, I know you, so I'm trying to help mm-hmm. other people understand your perspective of the world. But like, so like, what are you gonna do now? Now that you've gone through the Britney Faraday vortex, like, what I'm is still in it. you're still in it, <laughs> still in it, still in it. But mainly, I'm in my vortex. You're so. in your vortex, yes. No, we're combining all our vortexes. Mm-hmm. This is why I feel like we're so much more powerful because, like, I don't ever view you as Carl, someone that you know we need to take care of it's like you're like mm-hmm. our friend and yeah. we're vibing yeah. you know i really i really i'm really um happy to to know that about you that you see me as that you know because yeah yeah of I course feel, i feel like that <laughs> yeah yeah and it's like really what what i want to say what, what what were you saying i was just asking like you know what is your i was kind of i don't know like I feel like so many younger people, not younger, but like people in their early 20s, they're they're like so eager to go out and do th- something in the world. But mm-hmm. then they have this like societal programming of like, mm-hmm. you know, that means I need to get a degree and this thing yeah. about thing. And I was like, what is your yeah. view of the world? I mean, actually, I want, uh, I always want to like, I think a lot of young people have this, oh, I want to change the world. I want to do it. And I did like the step back and we're like, okay, what do I actually, <laughs> where do, do I actually want to go, you know? Mm-hmm. And then you see like, ah, okay, veganism, okay, like open relationship, free love, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot, a uh, whole field that where where we can express like this spirituality and that's always like this, this doorways for everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was for me the doorway as well. I was like, okay, what do I actually want to experience in the world? And then I'm like, okay, and now I'm here and I have, kind of something to say and have something to to give and yeah that's the whole point i think that's the main the main thing where where it's going but i don't know if uh, i understood your question right well i i guess i want to share with people that you're very good at individual channeling coaching like you can yep. sit with someone <laughs> and yeah, just like really see them all the way through and like reflect that back to them in a way that mm-hmm. they resonate with Mm-hmm. Like I but think that's really special. That's, yeah, but that's always like a matter of like understanding the fundamental things and then applying it to everybody else and seeing everybody as 
What do you mean? That's by where, the, so where. For people listening, what do you mean by the fundamental thing? Like yeah. the structure of reality? Structure of reality in a way, but it's not only that. Also how like people perceive structure of reality in, in physical reality, how experiences are, how everybody experiences the structure of reality difference. Like there, there are so many things to it. And I mean, I'm not like, I'm not, um, I didn't, uh, nobody understands everything. If you would, you wouldn't experience, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but I think I'm, I'm pretty good in what I said, like breaking down things and coming through the center and seeing the, the, the reason for things mm -hmm. and seeing how things work. And so I also s see pretty quickly uh, when, when diff uh, people before, like, when I talk to different people, I see what's their issue, like where they where they have like this, this uh, where they where they stuck, or da -da -da, and what's the reason for it, and not like what's like like I don't want to tell you like I, I always can tell you like how how it goes for me and da -da 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 -da, mm -hmm. but what's your reason like where does it like where does where uh, why do you stuck at this point why does da -da 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 -da? so not just the symptoms but like the core of it yeah exactly exactly and of course it's um important for this to have like a big big per uh, really open uh really open perspective like mm -hmm. and really really bright view of everything so you can pretty quickly like put someone oh, okay you are there da -da 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 -da, and that's probably the point for this to and so on and in the end it's always like how you said it's channeling <laughs> yeah i mean in the end it's like it's just coming out of me and if someone was asking what would you describe channeling means it's just like you know you know you know things immediately you're like, like allowing source energy to come yeah, through exactly. you and you uh, yeah and an experience is uh, it is like you just know things and i mean of course often you have to i mean like really really <laughs> really really experience like if you if you um make it like really 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 good channelers like really really good channel channelers they don't even know where they get the information from you know i still i'm like okay i can explain myself i got this information from there from there from there like but you're consciously you know yeah. how you connected the dots exactly exactly but in the end we are I always want you to hear yourself. Okay. Yeah. We are always channeling. Um um no matter like what we are doing, you know? Like we are always channeling when we when we are from this perspective that that um ah, okay, that that's a good yeah. okay. Yeah, that's what you want. When we are when you get the perspective that that everything is in the here and now and there's no past, then you know that you're always channeling because like where are those informations we got from the past coming from? Mm -hmm. And um, in the end, it's always the answer is like, yeah, from the here now and you just channeled it from source, but you're explaining to yourself, ah, I got it from the past. It's a memory. Mm -hmm. um, but in the end, channeling, like I it's it's exactly the same. And for me, it's always I uh, or, or knew where it's coming from. And I mean, I have this. OK, I c still can explain it to myself. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I still can like pretending, <laughs> pretending I'm not channeling, you know. But in the end, it's channeling, and uh, I get better and better in it. And just to like see through people and see their issue of things, and yeah, I think. Yeah, because I I, this. I have a lot of channeling where mm -hmm. I will just sense something. Like mm -hmm. I'll just ask a question that came out of the blue, or I'm like, "How does it feel in your body about this thing?" Or like I'll mm -hmm. sense things in their body, mm -hmm. like, and then I'm like, "Do you have a pain here and there?" And they're like, mm -hmm. "How do you know this?" And I'm like. I don't know, I'm just channeling, like, you mm -hmm. know, I'm just channeling. And I think that the more that we allow ourselves, everyone can channel. I really believe yeah, yeah. everyone sure. can channel. No, for sure. If you couldn't, you wouldn't exist, <laughs> you know. Why it's do you like say that? Because you uh, channeling, wh what you said is like accessing source energy, mm -hmm. you know. And like we all when you have exist, that ability. you have source energy, you, you are connected to source. And then everybody can channel, like, in a way. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that. And, you know, have you heard of the Akashic Records? Do you know what this mm, means? I don't think so, no. So it's something in like a lot of spiritual, like many different types of spirituality, they agree that there's something called the Akashic Records, which is basically like in the vibrational field, like it's basically it's in template reality source, source energy that all of the information exists. Mm -hmm. And so when people say I tapped into the Akashic Records, that means ah, okay, they yeah, channeled. Yeah. 
But I think like, that like the more that we become new age spirituality, yeah. it's like we don't need to say that, you know. Yeah, yeah, like like something like or like scientific people would say like quantum field and yes. stuff like yeah, okay. It's all okay. the same thing. Yeah. In the end it's all like yeah. And I feel that all of us have this access to it and the more that we allow ourselves to connect to our own like each person has their their own connection to source energy mm -hmm. their own like they don't need to get it we ha i think some people are programmed that they need to go to like a spiritual healer yeah, yeah. to get the information yeah, that, that's like i think that's like a really really big misleading in this whole community that in the end it ob obviously always comes back to you you know it's mm -hmm. always you and it's always your way and like there's nobody like that can like go the way for you mm -hmm. it's always you you have to go the way and in the end that's that's your way um and i want to say something but i forgot it <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like you're getting healthy again yeah. we were all kind of sick yeah i mean i feel like pretty much better and uh, yesterday and today and like my body feels strong again and stuff yeah like i feel like it's it's coming back and i think like tomorrow maybe i'm gonna work out again like Ooh. like really like real workout not like ten so push-ups <laughs> <laughs> so when you go to the island you and Faraday are gonna be training partners yeah i hope so like that's yeah that's like really yeah fairy is just so yeah it's so <laughs> he's what? like yeah it's it's like it's like really really nice to hang out with fairy for me because yeah, i love because you guys like relationship we have like really similar interests of here mm -hmm. like like really like i don't know how how that but but <laughs> somehow it it came like it's about um yeah i'm really happy i attracted fairy into my life but even from a human design perspective you guys subconsciously are the same mm-hmm you both are three. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, okay, in this, yeah. Like from yeah. the, like you're, so for people listening, you mm -hmm. have one three. One three. And like Friday's a six three. You so. think that many, uh, how many um, people in your audience are into human design? Mm, I think that they are interested. I don't know if a lot of people have, I just feel like there isn't that much information, like solid mm -hmm. information. So unless yeah. you've gotten a personal reading, yes. but I, t I do talk about it a lot, mm -hmm. like okay. according to human design. Because um, I think like, like I get excited to talk about it. And so I was just talking to Faraday about like, should I make a human design course mm -hmm. and with all the foundational stuff? And he was like, why don't you just make like podcasts or YouTube channels and just, or like mess videos and just mm -hmm. put it out there. And so I might do that when we go back to the Island and I'm hanging out yeah. with Sergey. That, that's <laughs> really, really good. I think because there's, it's such a powerful tool. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can be for like everything. Um, but I've been really attracted to it the last, few month whatever mm -hmm. and it always like worked really well for me um and i think it can help so many people uh i o i really often use it like when i what we said like when i channel someone that just mm -hmm. less, like as a map and like okay and now we go now i'm saying something about this uh, of course i always talking about you but now i pretend mm -hmm. i'm talking about your emotions and now I pretend, you know <laughs> like it's this i think it makes people be able to take it in more the channeling because mm -hmm. it's like if you just breaks things down and yeah. like easier to understand way yeah i feel like it kind of helps us to look at ourselves as if we're like a computer program mm -hmm. yeah, which exactly. for a lot of people i feel is really <laughs> yeah i always I see know. it like as you have this like you are like this this bubble in consciousness mm -hmm. like and you are, you are this part of it you know like this specific bubble you are yeah, we're like all pieces and of like the puzzle. There's this big infinite mm -hmm. consciousness and you're like this 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 one bubble in there. Mm -hmm. And like human design the tools like human design or astrology or whatever, um are like this like they they like frame it, you know, there's like it's not e the exact same thing, but it can be really close it close to it, like like a video is like of reality. It's not the exact same thing, but they because they're like pixels and stuff mm -hmm. you know uh, but it's really it gets really close to it and it's really makes th makes uh things easy t easy to describe yeah i feel like it like a lot of people have said that human design is like a soul blueprint so if we were to look at ourselves like mm -hmm. a building mm -hmm. blueprint yeah of, of uh, how we're building our personality construct then our human design is our soul blueprint um and if you're interested in getting a reading eve is doing them in german mm -hmm. and i have a friend sergey on the island who can do them over zo zoom in english does eve do them in english i never asked her i think she's mostly just doing uh, them in german I think she's doing them in german she's yeah 
I'm so excited. I think she her. prepared like every all year all her like stuff in German, and mm -hmm. it's much easier for her. Yeah, probably sure she could do it in English probably, but but it's, it's such like a niche to do it in German. Why mm -hmm. not just yeah. do it in German? True. Mm. Like there are really not many, f except f there are not many good people in, in German. Like that they mm -hmm. do it like with source connection, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Because I, I, I've listened to many podcasts and da -da -da and videos. And but this is wh why German. is there such bullshit out there? Yeah, about because human people design? people don't understand like the full message, like whatever the full message is. But <laughs> <laughs> so you mean like the but general universal message yeah, of how exactly. the universe works? Exactly, and then they like, and then they like see the tool as their holy as god you know it's like oh that's not you know that's not me that's a that's that works that way you know it's like so it's like elevating it too much instead of mm -hmm. having it be just yeah, one exactly. of the tools and it's just this description of something mm -hmm. you know and it's like how you use a um i, I don't know anything <laughs> english like geodreieck or something you know like this for geo geo geometry and stuff these like triangles mm -hmm. geometric triangles and stuff and it's just like a tool you can like show things on it and you can easily um, mm, words words yeah words i understand what, what you're saying yeah yeah because i view human design as like a tool in my tool bucket but i don't view it as the thing that describes everything yeah exactly like like a whatever it's geometric triangle it's not mathematic you know it's just a tool to describe some ma maths you mm -hmm. have but it's it's not the thing it's it's like one thing out of many you can use to describe the thing itself mm -hmm. and the thing itself just happens it doesn't it doesn't matter if there is like if you if you measure it or not you know and by the thing itself right now in this analogy you're talking about like the universal message mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah, I think it's really interesting to like try and put the universal message and like things that are very big mm -hmm. into simple language. Mm -hmm. Because and also not even into simple but like into language that's like fun to listen mm -hmm. to. It's always yeah because there's like this 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 difficult balance between you s want to make it understandable but you don't want to limit it too much because mm -hmm. it's unlimited, you know, and you always have to limit it if you want to make it understandable. And make it understandable. <laughs> There's like really this, this, this. You have to really find this balance between it. Um. Yeah, I feel that. Um. I don't know. What else should we talk about? What else should we talk about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Like there are so many things. Um, I'm so excited for what's going. Um, actually, sometimes I feel like, yeah, I'm so excited for just the the, the next everything. Like because you asked me in the beginning, like how it's to be twenty and woke. It's like really nice because you would know, like every month it's gonna it's gonna be so great. Mm -hmm. Like every coming week, everything it's gonna be like the best week I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, and like, I feel like you when know. you hit this certain level of consciousness, like the certain level of being awake, like time moves very differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally, totally, yeah. Like how would you describe time moving for you? Uh, I mean, I always can just compare it to my past self. Um, and I just know like this feeling of being in school and like really watching on the on the, on the clock and being like, damn, like, okay. <laughs> and now, uh, 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 ten more seconds, <laughs> like you know, like really this, and then like the big gong, 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 and I'm like just running out of school, <laughs> like <rah. laughs> and now and that's like just that that's where things feeling like very long, but there's happening very less, you know. There's so things much things that matter. Yeah, things there are so there 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 are not many things happening you know it feels like there's happening like it feels like five months has mm -hmm. passed by and noth nothing happened and like it felt like those five months were forever in those five months you know like it's mm -hmm. like and now it feels like yeah i don't know i don't know like time goes just like whew, but it happens so much in it yeah it's like, like it's lifetimes have been lived in one week mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like when i think about where i was two weeks ago i was like damn that was two weeks ago mm -hmm. that's like that's like 
pretty 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 long way like what happened in that time <laughs> it's, it's crazy mm -hmm. or even on a single day like i'm waking up or doing like even if i just do my th my simple things like when i'm at home and dressing and um i'm waking up or i don't know i'm maybe going for a walk or something doing sports making music eating like all those really simple things mm -hmm. and i feel like this day went by in an hour um and all of a sudden it's Uh, it's um, 8 p.m. or something, you know, and you're like, well, what happened? Um, But this is... It's so nice because in the end always something happens, you know, and it's always things I love to do mm -hmm. and things that they're just... They're just... <laughs> they're, they're just... And they're just enjoyable. And it's always like after this day, I'm like, okay, that's... I learned something on this day. I took some... I, I expanded on this day, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I created a new song. I learned something new about compression EQ and whatever mm -hmm. da, da, da. there are so many there are so many things and um, yeah but I feel like um, time the way you're describing it is like when you hit flow state <laughs> mm -hmm. and like listening to a lot of this woke stuff that we do like Bashar mm -hmm. he talks about how time is this construct that we make up in mm -hmm. the 3D thre third de density I've have um I uh, saw yesterday in the evening this video you two saw before for What? the uh, oh yeah yeah and there I was a really guy. interesting perspective again on time like that the time we experience like the time on our clocks are uh, actually the time of our like the the average time of of the whole population on the consciousness Earth, you know? the consciousness yeah the con the, the average con Yeah, you, yeah but, but you know what I mean. Like, but what? Hold on, I want to describe it to people so they understand because mm -hmm. I understand yeah, that but putting but it back into words should, is hard. You should describe it because my <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm I felt like it was words. saying. So this was a video that we were watching from Gaia TV, which is like this woke TV channel. You can watch some of them on YouTube. You also can subscribe to them. We just watch them on YouTube. Um, and this one was talking about that time, the c construct of time and third dimens dimensional reality is the average of like the mass consciousness mm -hmm. and like how it's moving. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like w the more that you wake up to the reality that we're living in this like dream um, mm -hmm. extension of our consciousness, like projecting into a 3d reality. Um, and the more that you're in flow state, Bashar talks about how your what you experience time to be so like when carl's saying like a whole day felt like an hour like that's actually how much time you age yeah so like if you have like a whole day where you're you're just like vibing with life and you're loving you know your what you're doing and you're just like completely but but i'm actually i'm a bit do you agree with that? What? no i'm a bit confused of the time <laughs> age you know of the term age the term age i don't know if it like fits it's it's like the body aging you know but yeah but i think that's but what it but meant. you age a day consciously you know like what you, you know it's it's like I, th i think you have to differentiate wait a bit so yeah i meant like yeah, yeah, your body yeah. your body because your cells actually they age according to what your consciousness mm -hmm. tells them to age. Like mm -hmm. we're, our bodies are set up to live indefinitely. Mm -hmm. And then our conscious reality through societal construct is like average human only lives this long. Or, you know, mm -hmm. like when you are <laughs> in not in flow and you're living your life mm -hmm. or you're forcing things to happen and all this stuff, your body ages because it's like, It's it's hard to put into words, yeah, but it's that's, something that's that I, I, mean. like, I very I think, much I make sense to me I in think, my body. Yeah, for me, I think for many people it will make sense because mm -hmm. everybody experienced it, flow state, and mm -hmm. everybody you know, everybody experienced that. Um, yeah, like when you're so into what you're doing, yeah, that exactly. time like doesn't e but, exist but anymore. But it's really really hard to put into words because also we don't really, we don't really have an anchor out of time. You know, we can compare it with. I, and I think to put it into words, I think feel, feels even more limiting mm -hmm, because mm -hmm, like exactly. our vocabulary, a lot of people don't realize that your vocabulary that you're raised with creates the structure of your reality. Mm -hmm. So that's why you can have different personalities when you speak different languages mm -hmm. because the culture. You the totally, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah, like the mass consciousness of that culture, of that language that you're you mm -hmm. are in creates the reality of what you speak. And so... Do you feel that you're... How are you different in German than in English? I don't know. 
I would be interested in it if we're, if Ferdy, for example, would because he speaks both because yeah. he speaks both. But I don't know, you know. <laughs> I'm like, where where should I know? Yeah, because I'm all I from you know. Yeah, yeah. Like I this is how well. How do you experience Ferdy in his English versus German that's personality? It's interesting because mm. I only experience him in his English personality, mm -hmm. and and it's also interesting for me because I taught him a lot. I mean, he knows the baseline English, but I taught him a lot of yeah. like how vocabulary. Uh, but structure. I don't feel like a really big difference with him there. He seems the same personality. Not, not like wise. the same, same, but it's really, really similar. Okay, well, it's what would you say is different? Mm, let me think. This is fascinating mm. to me. Mm. I feel a bit like that That often when Ferdi speaks English, that he's a bit more in this, like, performing mode. Really? A bit, yeah. Like in this, like... Um, like even when he's just talking to me? Like one-on-one? Um, one-on-one. <laughs> one I mean, like, <laughs> without the cameras rolling? <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know, um, because it's one-on-one, -on -one, but... <laughs> okay, no, I mean, like, <laughs> okay, when it's the three of us. Yeah, but but it feels pretty similar, because I think you already spend a lot of time with each other and stuff, but I feel like he's a bit more, yeah. Interesting. Uh, like, a li but uh, what, uh, as I said, like, a little bit more, like, a li it's, it's just a little with him. It's just a little. For example, with Eve, I experience much more. She's, like, when she's talking English, she's, like, this... I'm hosting a play party, if you know, like like, like this it's her hosting facilitator. Yeah, yeah like like yeah. It, fe it feels like it's this, it's this because she learned this when she when she's speaking English. She said, and it feels like uh, that's that's like a bit uh, more of a different personality. Mm -hmm. You know, with Ferdi, I don't feel that too much, but it might also be because I, um, when I got Ferdi to new, you know, like uh, over podcasts and vlogs and all this stuff. Uh, always got both si sides at the same time, you know, from Wait, him. you would listen to his German and his English? Yeah. And you would just feel like his English was more... No, 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 what, I, what, what I want to say is when I, when I um, met him, like, okay. not, but when he came into my life, mm -hmm. social media and stuff, I always experienced both of him, you know, mm -hmm. and probably my, my, my view of him is like the middle, mm -hmm. you know, it's mm -hmm. like the middle and now I'm like, okay, there's not much, Big or not big of a difference. Prob probably his mom will say, like this English fairy is a completely different fairy. You know <laughs> I mean? Yeah, because she's used to his German. I think yeah, I think there's a. Uh, so I, I guess it's all perspective. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Because he says to me that he, when he speaks German, it's easier for him to put on a mask because he can like talk cool and mm -hmm. you know hide behind his words. But in English, at least when it's just him and I together. He can't really do that because I'll just be like, "What are you doing right now? <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, why are you talking like yeah, that?" Yeah, I, re I really feel that you really have to put in the, like really simple and straight words if you're not like native in the, or more of simple and straight words when you're not native in, in the in the language, and it really breaks down like what you want to say, like mm. where you are now right now, and you cannot like, oh, I'm like sliding around this <laughs> and like. <laughs> Um, looking for like really nice political statements <laughs> I can you yeah. know like this like really when you're really skilled in your language you can always like say things without saying things and like the different the other way around and stuff um, it's uh, much easier probably yeah yeah I find that interesting with me because I at this moment in my life I'm mostly around people who are not native English speakers mm -hmm. like th and then I wonder about that sometimes. Like Aaron, you know Aaron, he's a good friend of mine. And he's, <laughs> unbeknownst to you guys, like actually American, <laughs> born. You guys uh, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't say anything about it. I don't know. Did you know he was I'd, from America? I didn't even think about it. It doesn't matter. But there is, I, I would love to do a podcast with him before we both leave Berlin. But I, I feel mm -hmm. such strong connection to him because we have a cultural history, yeah, you he's know? he's really... Yeah, and he's really like a really good guy. Yeah. I'll put Aaron on the podcast. You guys will get to know him. He's amazing. He's my friend. He's also a DJ. Um, I don't know why I said also. I guess it just means that you guys are all in music. <laughs> <laughs> Fairly the other day was like, Brittany, how does it feel to live with two rappers? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> great. It feels great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you didn't know, yeah. Faraday has a, a strong yeah, yeah. rapper career as well. <laughs> Faraday has like <laughs> five songs. Or yes. Something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he but he, really he went strong. He's he made music videos. Yeah, exactly. And he's like really passionate about. He's very about passionate 
also about consuming music. He's like really, really into it. Like yeah, rap music, German yeah. rap music specifically. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. So for everybody who <laughs> 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 for everybody who wants to have the best time in their life, like German rap, m rap music is definitely the way to go. <laughs> Apparently, I need to learn mm. German just so I can mm. understand German rap. This is yeah. what everyone's saying. All Germans. <laughs> All <laughs> like Germans. Everyone. <laughs> everyone in my life. Yeah. That's uh, this is what But actually German rap is like worldwide a really, really big market. Like But it's, it's how a really can it be big a big market worldwide if people are Because not speaking German? German? Isn't big. <laughs> <laughs> German yeah, has a really big population. Oh, so you're saying the Germans around the world yeah. are listening to it. Yeah, for people who German speak German. Just, you know. Yeah, I know, but like when you compare the size of it, this this industry size, uh -huh. it's like for therefore it's like just like uh, not English, like of course the English uh, music market is much much bigger, yeah. but like in the in the like in this comparison with um, maybe not English the market is Germany really really big. I mean, it's still small compared with that, but When we compare it to other languages and stuff, it's really it's one of the biggest music markets there. Are, outside, uh, of uh, outside of English speaking, of, uh, yeah, exactly. They're not that are not like English speaking, so. So it's strong. It's really strong because okay, Germany great. is so big. <laughs> <laughs> is Germany really big? No, the, the country is not big, but it has a lot of um, citizens. You know, it's just really really dense. It's one of the densest. Um, I didn't know countries. This. So there's a lot the of Germans population. Yeah, there wise. are a lot of Germans compared. Especially compared to like the the landmass Germany has. I mean, I do know out traveling like Germans is like one of the main. Mm -hmm. They're also uh, Germans travel a lot. Like yeah, it's one of the main because Germany is also a really rich land, you know. Yeah, it's so like they have money to spare, and, and I think culturally there's like this whole thing about gap year. Like before you go into yeah. university, yeah. you that's take that's a gap. A well, thing. America is not like that. It's like okay. you get like one week off or two weeks, or maybe <laughs> your summer off before no, you go in into college. In Germany, it's like it's like a big thing that you go out of Germany like after school I think and that's then beautiful. like in your in your s when you when you study uh, at university you, you you still can like make like one um one half a year or a year like somewhere else mm -hmm. in, on university in another country stuff like that there's so many opportunities and i think that's also like uh, of because of our history so we like you know that like That the intention of this that it's made easy for people so that you have like a lot of um intercultural um communication and mm -hmm. stuff you know mm -hmm. that's so because because of our yeah history that was not too open-minded that was not too open-minded are you other, talking other about cultures yeah <laughs> against other culture, cultures <laughs> i love that you're trying to be so politically correct <laughs> yeah, well, right now what should i say like, um <laughs> like, just know that at one time we weren't <laughs> very nice to other cultures <laughs> so <laughs> now we try to be but nice yeah i mean there's not we but like but like structures of it manifested afterwards and like of course i mean to prevent it again and that's one part of it i think if you're not understanding what we're talking about we are talking about world war ii yeah. and the nazis yeah um but yeah i feel that i mean being this is like dating faraday is the first time i've dated a german mm -hmm. that i can remember um but and it's like very interesting to come and live in berlin in the past but then come back and actually like date someone from mm -hmm. germany and understand more of the culture and like understand the language more yeah, and there's actually a lot a lot of trauma out of this i mean there of are many, many stuff that that raised many good stuff that raised out of it you know where where what is what i said like this mm -hmm. gap years and stuff where really where really where we really did a good good job in like like working on it and mm -hmm. like doing it better now but there is also still like so much trauma in it like uh, like so many people are that, that's like a, th a topic that triggers so many people mm -hmm. and da, 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 it's like really really yeah you yeah, know yeah. one thing for me personally that i've experienced is like doing women's circles here is the amount of emotional frozenness mm -hmm. i experience in mm -hmm. and i i'm I would say that I'm usually around women who are like from Latin America and like mm -hmm. other very expressive That's emotional totally cultures. Yes. And then coming here and everyone's like, mm, like mm -hmm. frozen. And I'm like, are you guys okay? Okay. Let's do some screaming exercises. Mm -hmm. Let's like get this out. Yeah, and many, many Germans are really lacking that confidence and like f for taking room to themselves and, you know, expressing themselves because it's always, I think there's just this trauma of like, 
taking things away and like being the the um no the, the opposite of victim the perpetrator like the, the perpetrator yeah, yeah exactly the bully and the yeah the villain yeah and i think it always like dumps back to the other side and then like it has of to course like, like one extreme bears another extreme like mm -hmm. equals but what i see right now is yeah like people are like so afraid to emote like mm -hmm. show their emotions because they're worried that somehow it's gonna lead to even if it's completely subconsciously mm -hmm. yeah like totally deep in the programming it's like somehow it will lead to something bad happening mm -hmm. like world war Two. yeah like i'm gonna hurt someone when i show my emotions yeah like because because culturally it did happen in yeah. the past you know like it's not like yeah. this is not like a light thing uh, so it's been fun for me to like do these women's circles and help create space how so we did the screaming mm -hmm. exercise in the in the retreat with the guys and girls in the forest we went on the forest and everyone had space to emote and share their emotions with like one person witnessing them and then they would switch in like four minutes of screaming yelling anything but just not talking how did uh, you recognize the difference between so how, how so I, normally i host only women doing it mm -hmm. and i said this to you guys yeah. in the beginning and f it felt very primal like it felt like really nice to have men also mm -hmm. there and like sharing their energy and then at the same time i also could feel that some of the women were getting overwhelmed mm -hmm. by it because um when we would do them like when i did them at the women's circles it was like i had pillows like we were also we were in nature so there mm -hmm. i didn't have as many props so usually like it's like we're in somewhere where i have pillows where people can scream into the pillows or like hit the pillows on the ground and here it was in nature but what ended up happening was people screaming in each other's face mm -hmm. like kind of like screaming at each other and mm -hmm. i felt like uh that was a little intense for mm -hmm. the women if they were paired with a man yeah. But at the same time, I felt like it was really healthy for everyone. Um, and I noticed that some of the women that were a little bit more sensitive to it, they just ended up being with another woman. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So how they was it for you to be in uh, it? I did it with another man. Or just to experience the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Go. I did it with another man. And um, um, I liked the exercise, but I didn't felt felt like a lot of it you know I've, I've, it was like i'm doing it and i'm doing it to my best and i want to empower everybody else to like be in the moment and da -da -da and, and just using it as an em emotional release but i didn't felt much release more release afterwards you know it was fun to do <laughs> <laughs> but but um but does it feel like you just didn't have anything you needed to get out in that moment it did, didn't felt like 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 this you know not not much to uh, at least uh, but but yeah but maybe i'm just yeah i also feel like really balanced like a lot of time yeah i don't i just feel like you probably just didn't have everything you need to get out yeah maybe exactly yeah i, I often feel like really I, I don't have like this big this big um schwankungen whatever schwankungen like English, emotional like, like this, uh, amplitude yeah um I'm like back and forth yeah yeah you're very stable yeah I mean, my human design would reflect it, a big heart, heart chakra, like really, mm -hmm. like really in the oneness, you know, and like really, really straight to it. And so it's like really difficult to like, like get this little like things like in, in line back away, you know, like, mm -hmm. like get getting from there. Okay. And that it's like really, it happens like really rarely that like this little like build up to one side, like really, really far. And then I'm then like, okay, I need to l release something. I need to cry or something. I really feel like uh, most of the time I'm really balanced. I'm, uh, I'm really mm -hmm. good. <laughs> good. And, and I, I have really, uh, like really healthy emotions. Um, Mm, but but it was really fun to do it was just fun to do you know <laughs> it was just fun, so fun to be in the woods and like like screaming, screaming and Verity said and that he went um, to go get food out of the so out of the car and people said mm -hmm. that they could hear <laughs> us screaming from the other side of the lake like a, it's a big lake <laughs> <laughs> like not a small yeah. and it was really nice to do it with the partner I had because he was really into it and I felt like he it gave him a lot and he also talked like in the in the podcast like and we did in the end he talked about this and, da, 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 and it was really really nice to just 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 be there with everybody and like how it is like in nature is always like everything is good mm -hmm. in nature yeah. um well i feel my energy is ready mm -hmm. to end this podcast but this has been fun yeah and i love that i proved <laughs> to myself that i can make a fun podcast yeah you, you were like 
I want to do a fan podcast. <laughs> Let's do a fan podcast. <laughs> Are we out? Are we here? We out here. Yeah. Um, so if everyone who's listening, go follow Carl on Instagram and Spotify. Spotify. What is your handle again? Oh my, what? Your my other Insta- name. My Instagram is um. Lit Lomo. Lit, lit Lomo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'll like in er, all links are in the in my bio. Okay, great. I had so much fun talking to you, Carl. And I'll see you guys soon on the next podcast. Have a beautiful day. Bye.